Well, I'm in Vancouver and it's not raining right now, which is awesome. It was pouring earlier today. So I get to walk uh, back to the hotel in, uh, well, it's not quite dry, the ground's wet, but at least it's not raining on me. So I'm part way back to the hotel. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna grab a bite to eat somewhere and then uh, we'll see. We might get to a workout, we might not. I'd like to, but uh, we'll see what we can do. You know, I was thinking yesterday, um, I haven't done anything with that email that we got from Tesla. So we got the email that said, uh, notifying us that basically our power wall is, is ready to be shipped out. And then we have a choice. We can either take the power wall or we can take a credit at the uh, Tesla store or, uh, or we can use it on the purchase of a new Tesla, which is you know pretty cool. Now, we are looking at getting the Tesla truck, but I don't know how that would work. So I really do want to get a power wall because I want to go solar at home, but that's just going to be complicated. So still thinking about that. I think we have a bit of time to decide. The bigger and more pressing thing is uh, we're looking at getting a spot to park our trailer, an RV spot. And so I've got to do some paperwork for that. I got to get some, uh, got to get some checks ready if we're going to get serious about this. So. That means I gotta find some money. So um, yeah, I'm looking for money here in Vancouver. That's my mission. Let's go look for money. So this street that I was just uh, had in the shot, this is Robson Street. It's one of the coolest streets here in Vancouver. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of very cool stores. If you're down in the, in the area, there's some great shopping down here. Now, of course, if you want to save some money, go to Calgary. In Alberta, we have one less provincial sales tax than they do here. You can buy the same stuff and it'll cost you a lot less. But uh, Robson Street, some awesome shopping. It's just starting to get dark now. I made it back to the hotel. It's right over there. I'm going to pop in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to my room. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to go work out. I'm going to get it done and then I'll go find some supper after that. All right, crossing my fingers that I don't sit on the bed and lay back because uh, then you don't want to get up. I know what that's like. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey there, people of the grid. Good news, really good news. The good news is I came back to the room and as I had planned, I got changed into my workout gear and I went and I did a workout. Got it done, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, came back, cleaned up, went for a bite to eat, and uh, just got back. What time is it now? Just about 8 o'clock, so uh, feeling pretty good. It's nice outside, not raining, which is kind of a real treat when you're in Vancouver, especially this time of year, because it tends to get fairly, uh, fairly damp and humid. There's a lot of drizzle and a lot of rain and a lot of gray, but uh, it wasn't like that tonight, so that was good. I just wanted to share with you on the uh, power wall. I think that's the way we're going to go because I was talking with Tammy. If we get a power wall, then we're going to join a very small group of people that are driving their electric cars off of the power of the sun. So depending on how we size it and how we set it up, it could cover all of our driving needs with solar or close to all of our driving needs. Either way, it's a bonus. It'll offset... Uh, our use of electricity and um, getting a power wall is part of that process. So that's what I think we're going to do. Just going to give it a little more thought. And the other thing that we're thinking of, um, told you I was here uh, looking for some money. Actually, I'm looking to earn some money while I'm here. So basically, I'm working to make money so that we can, uh, I think, make a move on this RV lot thing. Here's my reasoning. I was talking with Tammy again and it kind of falls back to any of the big decisions that we've made so far, whether it's buying a camping trailer or the, the DVC membership that lets us go to Hawaii and Disney for a lot more times than we ever would and for a lot, lot more affordably than we ever would. Those are, I look at them as investments, investments in family time. And I've kind of decided a long time ago that if I ever invest in anything that allows me to have more time with Tammy or with the kids or all of us together, uh, that it's pretty much a no-brainer for the most part. So that's the way I'm looking at this. This is going to give us more time camping, less time
doing the uh, stressful stuff, which is the setting up and the tearing down. And more importantly, because it's close to a lake, it's on a lake, we're gonna have access to that. We're gonna get a lot more time with our boat, which for those of you that have boats, you probably know it's kind of a shame if you have a boat and don't get to use it a ton every year. So last year we didn't even take the tarp off. This year we gotta make up for that. So because we're gonna be out there, the boat will be out there, we'll be able to drive out and in an hour and a half, you know, from home, we could be on the lake having fun in the boat. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. So I think uh, when I get back home, we gotta do some paperwork and uh, see if we can make this thing happen. Then I gotta work my butt off so that I can pay for this thing happening. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. So anyways, uh, awesome short trip to Vancouver, just a couple of days. I've got uh, the main event tomorrow. We're hosting a big, a big session. So uh, I'm gonna go take care of that. And then, uh, then it's back home to Calgary. Um, oh, and tomorrow, the Tesla Model S is having some work done. So, uh, uh, but we'll fill you in on that tomorrow. Until then, Micker out.